Welcome back to Daily Flash. And this is the first ever segment with me, Matt Doolittle, called Doing It. And I'm taking you, get it? See, it's a play on the words there with the, the uh, last so yeah. name and everything. Uh, I am taking you on my magical trip to Europe. Yes, my fiance and I took a trip to Europe. We went to France, we went to London, we went to Liverpool. Unfortunately, the Beatles weren't there. <laughs> but oddly, a man trying to sell me a free ride on a yellow submarine to see the Titanic was, <laughs> which I quickly turned yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. However, this trip really opened my eyes to what the rest of the world thinks of America. I've been outside of the country nowhere except for Epcot or the Bahamas, where it <laughs> just feels like a cheap version of Margaritaville. True. Yeah, RIP Jimmy Buffett. Aww. But Epcot was good enough. I did go to all the landmarks and take pictures. I'm putting those good. up of Epcot stuff. So I really got to hear what the rest of the world thinks of us. I do rather stand out with my annoying American accent that I didn't know I have, and no idea how they could tell from Florida by the fact that I was looking for gator snakes and walked right through a little rainstorm that fell on us. <laughs> and oh, I yelled, Murica, every chance I got, you better believe it. But they look at us like a reality TV show with our politics, policies, and why by stealing their royalty. Yes, they really think we stole Prince Harry. They are mad about they that. They can have him back. They would like him back. Uh, but they look at us as a full-blown reality series, and I heard it from every Uber driver, bartender, shopkeep I met. They think the Kardashians run Congress, the Real Housewives of Atlanta run the Senate, and Johnny Depp is our president, which at this point, I'll, I'll take it. So uh, yes. my takeaway overall was this, uh, well, I, you know, was doing it in Europe this time. The food was amazing. The people were lovely. And us in the U.S. need to do a little bit less of acting like a Bravo series. But who am I kidding? This writer's strike isn't ending soon. So who knows? Writing more of our scripts over there anyway. So who knows what TV shows they're going to get. So it was, it was definitely eye-opening. That is doing it for this week. All right, Matt Dula. All right, Matt Dula.